Hello, you've made a great decision by choosing this to watch this video. Everything that I'm going to discuss in this video will definitely change your life because it has changed mine and changed the lives of millions of people all over the world. Things that I talk about are things that I've studied in books like Master Key by Charles Jane Hanno, Bob Proctor's book, um, Change Your Paradigm, Change Your Life, Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I've read a ton of books about the topics which I'm going to talk about in this video, which is simply metaphysics. And what is metaphysics? Metaphysics is the study of the relation of thought and emotion to the material world. Like I say in most of my videos, every single thing that is around you, if you look around you right now, started in somebody's mind. So most of us want to achieve success or want to do great things with our lives. It all starts with how you think. So in this video, we're going to do something important. We're going to talk about the role of the mind in manifesting. How important is your mind to create your reality? Your mind, everything is mind. Everything is thought. Everything is starts in your head, pretty much every single thing. Like example, this is a bottle of water. This is a company. Somebody created this bottle of water for sure. So it started in somebody's head. The process to clean the water started in somebody's head. We can go as back as, you know, everything is created with thought, right? Nothing just appears. It all starts in the mind. So that's how powerful your mind is. And in this topic, we're going to discover the power of the subconscious mind, learn how to harness its potential for growth and success. This journey will transform your thoughts into reality. So to start it off, I'm going to explain something which is very important to you, right? Your mind has two parts. And once I learned this, it blew my mind and I've, I've never been the same. I've never operated the same or thought the same about, you know, how I think. I'm very particular about how I think, which has helped me create my reality in amazing ways. So there's the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. What is the conscious mind? Conscious mind, you're aware, decision-making center. It's active when you're solving problems or making choices. And what is your subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is the hidden powerhouse. It controls habits, emotions, and automatic behaviors. It stores all your experiences. So now let me break. I know I don't like to use big words because, you know, I want you to understand it in a way that you can grasp the information and be like, oh, I get it. It makes sense, you know? So human beings, we start off knowing nothing. We know nothing at all. We know nothing at all. Like you're born as a baby in the world and you have no thoughts. You can't recall any information. You can't speak any languages. You can't speak English. You can't talk. You can barely walk. You can, you know, you're a child. And as a child, your subconscious mind is wide open because up until you're eight years old, I know they say eight years old is when a child knows the difference between good or bad, right? So up until you're 80 years old, you're just downloading information from your environment, from your parents, from the people around you, all around you, every single point, everything that you see, watch, hear, you're downloading it and it's, it's shaping your subconscious mind. Because in reality, you don't really teach kids English, right? They just learn it and then they start to go to school then they start to learn in the school as well right but they they they're able to learn it from their environment from the people that are talking around them so you tell your child come here then he starts to realize every time those sounds make the sound come here it means i should come closer to you right so your subconscious mind is shaped by your habits emotions and automatic behaviors your language is stored in your subconscious mind chinese people they don't speak english because their subconscious mind is programmed to be chinese <laughs> your subconscious mind is programmed to understand what i'm saying which is english but the, we both speak and make different sounds that mean the same thing but it's different programming right so you can think of the subconscious mind as an operating system like you know apple operating system android operating system those are operating so your subconscious mind is your operating system and your conscious mind is you in a sense where you make the decision of what your subconscious mind suggests to you like 
I like to teach people that um, you are not your thoughts. I also learned this. I didn't always know this stuff, first of all. So I also, I went looking for the information, then I discovered I am not my thoughts. Wow, I am not my thoughts. And how can you prove that? If you want to prove that after this video, you can pause this video and try this exercise. Think about an elephant. Say the word elephant in your head. Elephant. In your head. Who is saying that? Whose voice is that? Not you. But you're consciously able to say elephant and choose to say elephant in your head. So that is your conscious decision to make that choice. But you are not your thoughts. Your subconscious mind will suggest thoughts to you over time based on your program, based on what you believe. So every time a scenario is presented in front of you, like a decision, a choice must be made. Your subconscious mind is going to use your experiences, your habits, your emotions, your automatic behaviors to suggest what you should do in that scenario. So, for instance, like um, you have an exam and it's a subject that you're not, you believe you're not the best at, right? You believe because it's, an, it's, in, it's programmed in you, like it's in your subconscious mind to believe that you're not good at math. You're not good at English. You're not good at making videos. You're not good at posting content. You believe that. It's not a fact. You believe it. So that belief is stored in your subconscious mind. And then it's when that, oh, are you going to, how, how do you feel about the exam? Your friend asks you that question. How do you feel about the exam? Your subconscious mind is going to say, oh, I hate math. Then you're going to say to your friend, oh, yeah, I'm scared. I hate math. Right? But you can, you can reprogram that. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So your subconscious mind shapes your reality. Your beliefs become reality. Your deep-seated beliefs influence your experiences. They can propel you towards, they can propel you forward or hold you back. I remember joining a, a business mastermind, right? I was in this business mastermind and I was with this guy, very successful guy. Everybody respected him. He had a business that was doing about $2 million a year. Facts. And I was speaking about my problems and I was just talking and I was just letting him know, oh, I, I studied computer science. Um, I'm trying to, you know, I'm doing all these things, but it's not working out. Da, da, da. I was just giving all these excuses. And he was like, he was just like, why? He just kept asking me why. And because he could see something that I couldn't see about myself because, because he could see that my beliefs were holding me back and I had all the knowledge of I've, I've done all these things. I've achieved all these things, but why don't I still believe in myself? Why don't I still take action? Why don't I do all the things that I know I should be doing that? I know I deserve that. I know I want, why am I not pursuing it? Because it doesn't sound like I'm done. So the problem with me was it was, stored in my subconscious that I wasn't good enough. It was stored in my subconscious that um, there's a certain way to live. This is how your life should go. So those things were deeply rooted in my subconscious. And just having a talk with that guy for a couple hours just switched my mind. And I started to realize, like, I'm standing in my own way. I actually haven't tried. I haven't attempted. I haven't done anything to pursue this success that I really want and I'm qualified for, right? But... The thing I wasn't realizing was I wanted something different. It wasn't really about the information. Like I, I'm, I studied computer science and I did very well in that, but I'm very passionate about metaphysics and this kind of stuff. So it wasn't really that, oh, I didn't want to succeed in, <laughs> in computer science. It was that I wanted to succeed in something else. I'm more interested in something else, but it took me digging through my subconscious mind to find out all the wrong beliefs and things that I thought about myself and the world around me, right? So your belief becomes your reality. Silent influence. The subconscious mind works behind the scenes, guiding your actions and your decisions. I explained that to you earlier. When, whenever a scenario appears itself, like this is a great example. A beautiful woman just walks by you, right? Um, a, a beautiful woman walks by you. I used to be, I used to be th over 300 pounds. 
I lost over a hundred pounds and I lost a lot of weight. After losing a lot of weight, I started to get more attention, obviously, right? I started, more women started to notice me in public and events, parties. More people started to notice me, but in my subconscious, I still had the idea of me being over 100 pounds, which was over 300 pounds. I still was in my subconscious. I still felt like nobody liked me. I wasn't attractive. I still had all these deep-rooted beliefs about myself in my subconscious mind because a beautiful woman could walk by me that I'm interested in, but my subconscious mind would say, whoa, wow, this girl is out of your league. This girl wouldn't like you. This girl would think you're fat. You know, because that is deep rooted into my subconscious mind. So that's how it works. Like you have to realize that these things are actually not facts about yourself. They're just beliefs. They're just programmed in you. Like you've, they've been programmed in you for so long that you believe them. But you have to be able to examine every thought that comes into your head and ask yourself, is this a belief or it's a fact? Is math hard? Or I believe it's hard <laughs> because it's easy for somebody. And that's the that's the paradoxical nature of life. And what is a paradox? Something that maybe appeared to be true, but has evidence of it being false. Right. So you can say a girl thinks you're ugly, but you've never like there, <laughs> there are girls that you want to talk to. Then I finally talk to them then I find out, oh, I was thinking that she wouldn't like me, but now she likes me. Right? Because it's all in my head. It's all in, built into my subconscious programming about myself. Right? So in every area, not just women, of course, in every area of your life, even business, success, career, there are these things that you believe that are not facts because they're just programmed into your subconscious mind. Like a lot of people believe it's hard to make money, but there are people out here that are making billions and if you ask them, it's like, oh, it's easy to make money. But before, I didn't just know the things that I know now, right? So, untapped potential. By aligning your conscious and subconscious mind, you can unlock incredible growth. So you need to use your conscious mind to reprogram your subconscious mind. And that is what we're going to talk about later on in this video. I'm going to give you tips to consciously reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can change those beliefs and focus more on facts and make some things facts because it's your choice what you believe both statements are true it's hard to make money it's easy to make money it's your choice you're the observer you're the decider your mind is the decider you are the decider and whichever whichever position you take it's hard or it's easy the universe is going to accept that as true for you I want to talk about paradigm. So basically, Bob Proctor, I don't know if you guys know Bob Proctor, but Bob Proctor is somebody that has definitely helped me in a lot of ways in reshaping my subconscious mind and just my life in general. You can check out his videos. He also died and passed away a couple, I think, a year ago or within the last few years. So RIP, rest in peace, Bob Proctor. Much love and respect to you, sir. So... According to Bob Proctor's teachings, our deeply ingrained paradigms or mental programs shape our habits. And what is a paradigm? A paradigm is just the belief, emotions, and thoughts that you operate under, right? Your beliefs, the things that you believe to be true about life. So it's just your paradigm. The, the, it's like a filter that you see life through, right? It's the filter that you see life through. So. Bob Proctor's teachings claim that our deeply ingrained paradigms or mental programs shape our habits, beliefs, and ultimately the results we achieve in life. These subconscious patterns can either empower us or limit our potential, depending on whether they are positive or negative. Right? The things that you believe to be true can deeply impact your reality. Everything you Everything you do is shaped by your beliefs, the things you believe. I'm, I don't believe I'm good enough for this job, so I'm going to apply for the, the the easier job. I don't believe I'm good enough to make money. I don't believe I'm good enough to start a business. I don't believe, believe I'm good enough to own a home. All these things shape your decisions, and you're going to 
You're going to make those decisions based on your paradigm and the way you filter life. You know, your mind's eye. Have you heard of the world, your mind's eye? The, the, the filter that you see through will determine your achievements. How do you shift limiting beliefs? To create positive change, Proctor, Bob Proctor emphasizes the importance of recognizing and consciously reprogram, reprogramming our limiting paradigms. This involves intentionally choosing new empowering beliefs and reinforcing them through affirmations, visualization, and consistent action. So the way that you, you reshape your subconscious mind, which is the powerhouse of your thoughts, right? The, the auto suggestion of your thoughts, the, the, where you, most of your thoughts pop out from, right? The way that you reshape that is by reinforcing them through affirmations. I am good enough. I am smart. I can achieve. And this is like things that you repeat. You write down affirmations and you repeat them every morning. You say, you say it back to yourself every day, every day, every day till you start to believe it. In a way, you hypnotize yourself that you're better than what you currently think you are. Right? Visualization. You see yourself, you close your eyes. In my last video where I talk about manifesting is real, you've just been doing it wrong. I talk about how you can close your eyes and visualize. See yourself, like for me, I see myself in my dream car. I close my eyes, see myself in my dream car. I hear the engine roaring. <clears throat> I hear it roaring. And I try to see as much as I can see all the buttons, all the fancy buttons. I don't even know what it looks like inside. But I'm just imagining all those things. Then I also feel how I feel sitting in that car, feeling like I've achieved things, like I've done things with myself to be able to earn this car, to be able to be in that position, right? I take myself there with my mind. I absorb all of that feeling down to how I feel, how I feel about myself, you know? So take yourself there. The version of you that is high achieving, the version of you that is smarter than what you think you are, the version of you that has gotten all the success that you dream of take yourself there in your mind's eye absorb that feeling and bring it back to you now and walk and operate as that person like the person who does all those great things do that now take go there bring it back with you and do that right now today and the last step is consistent action you can't knowledge without like all these things that you've learned today, if you don't apply them and actively actually go and do it, nothing's going to change. If you go to business school and you learn everything about business, but you never start a business, you're never going to make money. If you go to school and you study computer science and you never build a program, you're not a computer scientist. You're just somebody that knows about computer science, right? You collect a girl's number and you never text her or take her out. You will never be your girlfriend. This is like, this is fact. So you need to let go of fear, do these things, and actually see them work for you. Subconscious transformation. The key to reprogram the subconscious mind where the deeply rooted paradigms reside. By aligning our conscious and subconscious thoughts, we can unlock our true potential and manifest the success we desire. So one more thing that I'm going to give you to, which this one is I learned this this technique in Esther and Jerry Hicks book Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks pretty much I learned this technique which is every time a, a thought pops in your head that is negative you need to break it down from highly negative to slightly negative to slightly less negative then you break it down into positive and how does that work so when you, when you get a thought like, oh, I'm not good enough, analyze that thought. Oh, that's not true. That's a belief, not a fact. Ask yourself, is that a belief or a fact? I am not good enough. That's a belief. It's not a fact. Okay. Um, some people like me. Um, my school thinks that I'm good enough. Okay. 
My basketball team thinks that I'm good enough. Okay. My teacher said I was good enough. Okay. Then you start to break down these thoughts from negative to slightly less negative to not negative at all, to positive. And before you know it, you get so good at it. But the thing is, like I said, it's all about action. You have to actively do these things. Because if you don't do it, it's not going to work for you. And the more you do it, it's going to work for you. And it's going to decimate all the negative things. Like if you do the affirmations, you're going to fill your subconscious mind with so many good thoughts and ideas about yourself that it has no choice but to feed that back to you. Like, what do you think they call aura? <laughs> it's called aura. You, you have this aura about yourself because you believe you're so good and so great and so smart because you've told yourself this your subconscious mind has to has to prove that right to you by giving you ideas to act on like if you believe you're the best programmer your subconscious mind will start to give you ideas okay watch this video learn about this build this program test yourself you know write this book it will start to inspire you based on your frequency of your thoughts because you shifted your thoughts from negative positive because you you did the work and you put in those affirmations by repeating to yourself and reprogramming your mind that you're a better person that you're not what you used to think you were the power of thoughts positive thinking focus on success and happiness your subconscious will work to make it happen like i said always transform your thoughts from a place of negativity to a place of positivity you want to start a business. You want to do something different. Anytime that idea comes like, oh, how can you succeed at a business? Tell yourself, but, oh, I know this guy that doesn't even, that didn't even go to school and he did very well at a business. Oh, I heard this story about this girl that never studied anything, but she made a million dollars in one year. Start to reprogram your mind by reshaping yourself and shifting those thoughts from heavily Negative down to completely positive. Negative thinking. Dwelling on problems can manifest more t challenges. Be aware of the thought patterns. So when you do, like, where attention goes, energy flows. When you give problems attention, you start to, you start to make decisions based on that negative feeling. So, like, for instance, like, you have a bunch of bills that just came through and it's like oh my god you start to get scared again you start to you get, you get scared you you feel all the feeling of lack and everything that is bad about life you start to think about oh life is so bad there's no opportunities oh money is so hard to make you start to think about all these bad things about yourself and the world around you that you can how would you be able to how would you be able to see what's a fact and what's a belief because the moment you got that bill, it, it triggered you into believing all the bad things about the world, which are not facts. Because, for instance, you see the bill, oh, money's so hard to make, my life is full of problems. You know, those are common thought patterns that come when associated with bills. But you fail to realize, like, yes, there's still opportunities. Oh, you can still do better. Oh, I have some money coming in. Oh, I have this job opportunity that I saw on LinkedIn I can apply for. Oh, I have this business that I, I was thinking about starting, you know? It's all in your head. And the subconscious mind will support whatever you currently believe. You, you, already, have a, you already have a programming that is already in your head. It's not your fault. You've just been brought up this way. You've just been shaped this way. I like to talk about the concept of rich dad, poor dad, because a rich dad will teach his son that all the positive concepts about money, but a poor dad will teach his son all the negative concepts about money. And that's just the way life is. So if you were brought up with a poor dad, all your programming is going to be filled with negative concepts about the same subject. And you think that, oh, rich people just had money. Oh, you can't make money unless your parents were rich. Oh, you can't be rich because... But there are tons of people whose parents were never rich that are rich now, that are wealthy. So that's not a fact. It's a belief. Most things are beliefs, not facts. The more you start to dig on this, 
The more you practice that, is this a belief or a fact? Trust me, it's going to change your life. Thought transformation. Learn to recognize and reflect negative thoughts. Replace them with positive affirmations. Just like I told you, replace your negative thoughts with positive affirmations. Then your subconscious mind will work to support you with the next steps to take action on. Visualization. See it, achieve it. Imagine. Picture your desired outcome vividly. Use all your senses to make it real. Put yourself in that office, the corner office with the big window. Imagine it, the corner office with the big window. Oh my God, this is what I want. I want to be the big man. I want to be the boss. Imagine yourself as the boss. Soak in the energy of how the boss thinks, how the boss behaves, how the boss acts. As you as the boss. Put yourself there in your mind. I am the boss right now. How do I operate? How do I act? What do I do? Am I fearful or am I fearless? Operate from that consciousness and you see things will start to turn around. Feel. Experience the emotions of success. Take yourself there and feel everything. Like The most important part is the feeling. Because you have to take yourself to that position. It's not the physical car. It's not the actual corner office. Those are just representations to inspire the feeling. Because the person in that corner office is the person that feels different from how you feel now. And that person feels positive about life. That person believes there are a billion opportunities to act on. That person thinks and feels different than how you think and feel right now. So that's what you need to go to. You need to imagine you as that person. Feel what they feel, bring it here, and operate as that person now. Belief. Trust in your ability to achieve. Once you're able to visualize and take yourself there, you've become a different person. So trust that your decisions are from the place of a boss. Your decisions are from the place of the person who has achieved all these great things. Every, every step that you take is a step in the right direction leading you to that visualization that you've seen. Your subconscious will guide you. Oh, I moved too far. Belief and repetition. Consistency is key. Like I said, you have to be consistent. You can't watch this video and go back to being negative. That's why you should subscribe. Like I said, if you are subscribed to my channel for three months, you wouldn't recognize yourself after three months because the Things that I'm teaching you will change your life. So consistency is very key. You have to be consistent. You can't learn this stuff today, then go back to being negative tomorrow. Go back to hanging with negative friends tomorrow. Go back to believing the wrong things tomorrow. Go back to not asking yourself, is this a belief or it's a fact? Is this a belief or it's a fact? Is this a belief or it's a fact? Every thought that pops in your head, is it a belief or it's a fact? Is it a belief or it's a fact? You can't go back to who you were tomorrow. You have to be consistent. Keep watching videos like this. Keep learning. Read the books that I suggest to you. Watch the videos of people that I suggest to you. That's the only way you're going to become a different person. Because if you stay with the paradigm that you have right now, you're not going to change. It takes consistency. Like I say, all you have is one day. 24 hours. Yes, they say there's tomorrow, there's yesterday. But in reality, you can only be in one day at one time. So that is all you should focus on. What am I doing in one day? You wake up and you pick up the PlayStation. Then you get angry because you lost the game. Then you call your negative friends and you tell them how the game is not good enough. Then you go to work and, you, you know, you need to change that habitual pattern of negativity that you currently have. You need to wake up and say your positive affirmations. You need to wake up, watch content that inspires you and teaches you about yourself and your mind you need to change your habits because you're consistently doing something right now you can you're consistently doing negative things right now you're consistently doing that and it takes a shift for you to decide okay i'm going to wake up and i'm going to eat healthy i'm going to wake up and i'm going to go to the gym i'm going to wake up and i'm going to read i'm going to wake up and i'm going to watch boogies videos simple you have to make that decision to be consistent in building your self-development belief reinforcement the more you believe in yourself the stronger your subconscious mind supports you 
like I said, it takes those small steps. It's not a jump. You have to start with, okay, I believe that I'm going to be able to keep being consistent in watching and learning. I'm going to keep being consistent in watching and learning these videos. And these videos inspire me to read more books and I'm going to be consistent. Then your mind is going to be like, wow, 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 wow. He's actually doing this stuff. He's actually doing this stuff. So I have to support him. Okay, here's a video. Watch this video. Your mind is going to say, oh, talk to that person that's positive. Call that person that once told you there was an opportunity. Oh, I know you really like this business. Why don't you do more research about it? You know, your brain is going to work for you. Life is happening for you, not to you. Remember that. Patience and persistence. Change takes time. Stay committed to your practice for lasting results. Self-development is a lifelong journey. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. It doesn't matter. It's a lifelong journey. You can be 50 years old and still, you still have a good 30 years to change your life. That's, that's another beautiful thing I learned. I was reading a good book called Think Bigger Thoughts, and the book talks about how even at 50, you have a good 20 to 30 years left in your life. You know what you could do in 20 to 30 years? At 40, you have a good 40 years. At 20, you have 60 years. But don't push, doesn't mean you should push it off. But just imagine if you start at 20. You start at 20 years old, learning all this good stuff about self-development, and you keep at it for the next 10 years. You're gonna be, <laughs> you're gonna be somebody great. And if you're 55, it's not too late. You can start at 55, and by the time you're 65, you're gonna be somebody great. You're gonna achieve so much because you decided to change. You decided to keep being consistent. So. Don't let your age fool you. Patience and persistence is the way to go. Self-development is a lifelong journey. The information in this presentation is what you need to do to change your life. But you have to be consistent. You have to put in the work. You can't go back to your negative habits. Decide today. And once you make that decision, your subconscious mind is going to support you. Harness positive, <laughs> harness positive emotions. Love. Cultivate self-love and compassion. It fuels your subconscious with powerful energy. Be compassionate with yourself. Don't judge yourself for being negative. Like I said, take it easy from a place of completely negative to less negative to slightly less negative. Positive. Be compassionate in that process. You start to recognize, like, why am I so negative? But you have to be compassionate about yourself. Yes. You have to forgive the people that programmed you to be negative, too. Because you start to realize, wow, a lot of this has to do with my environment and the people I was surrounded by. They just didn't know better. You have to be compassionate with yourself, your situation, your life. Don't start blaming other people. Don't start blaming everyone for what's happening or why didn't they learn this stuff and teach me. No. This stuff is here for you to learn so that you can pass it on to your generation, to the people below you, right? This stuff is here for you. So you have to learn it and use it for yourself. Joy. Embrace happiness in your journey. It amplifies the, effect the, <laughs> it amplifies the effectiveness of your visualizations. Oh my God. Joy. What brings you joy? Like, for me, it's it's doing these type of things and it's metaphysics. When I watch inspiring videos that show me the possibilities of life, like I see a successful person telling me all the things that I'm telling you. Once I see a per successful person telling me it's like a successful person telling me it's possible, I'm very inspired. I start to feel with joy. I start to get filled with joy and I just start to imagine the possibilities of my life. I close my eyes and I see great things front of myself but you can't listen to negative people you can't listen to people who have not gotten where you want to go you can't you can't so you have to embrace happiness in your journey right your journey your journey is different from anybody's journey 
your journey is different from your friend's journey who has a nine to five. Your journey is different from a, a person who doesn't want to achieve the things you want to achieve. Doesn't understand the things that you understand about life. You can't keep discussing with them about your vision for yourself. They don't have the same paradigm as you. They're programmed with their own paradigm and you cannot pull them out of it. You can, sh you can share this video to them, but it's not in your place for them to stick along and learn all this information. Some people will watch this video and think, oh, what is all this metaphysics nonsense? But I promise you that everything that I'm teaching you is things that I've learned from people who have used them to achieve great things. Confidence. Believe in your abilities. Confidence strengthens your subconscious resolve. Most of the people that you look up to, the difference between you and them is confidence. They're just confident in what they're doing. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. They just figured it out as they were going. They didn't know all the stuff was going to work out. They didn't know all the stuff they learned. They learned it from somebody. They used it and they figured it out and they took action, which goes into the next point. Action, which is the final ingredient. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Like somebody commented on my last video. I just want things to be perfect. Things are already perfect right now. Things are already perfect right now. Like, don't wait for uh, imaginary reality where things are perfect. You have the perfect camera. No. Things are already perfect right now. You have everything available to you. Just take advantage of what you have. Things are already perfect right now. The final ingredient is action. So don't don't cripple yourself with thinking like, oh, I need this or what. Oh, I can't act without believe. <laughs> believe then your mind will give you ideas. This is a great example. Like, so I have a digital marketing company. You can check it out in the description. And I wanted to start shooting commercials. I was like, wow, I actually know how to. I have some great ideas for commercials for different companies like i look at commercials i'm like no nah, i can i can do this better i have a different concept that could sell this brand better or sell this idea better or sell this application better i always used to think like that then i was like oh i want to start shooting commercials i don't have no camera i don't have no ten thousand dollar equipment i don't have all that stuff i don't have a red eye camera i don't have no camera till today i don't have a camera but i was thinking and my mind just told me, you don't have to have a camera. You just have to partner with somebody that has a camera. You just have to be confident enough to call somebody and be like, oh, okay, uh, how much do you charge for production? How much can I, I, I want to do this, this, this. And I called my friend, my friend Jamar. Me and him are partners today in my business. He's the production guy in my business. And I call him and I say, yo, Jamar. I didn't know him at this time, of course. And I'm like, Asking him all these things about his work because I saw him on Instagram. I saw his work was really good, high quality. And I called him up and I found out his prices. I was like, okay, cool. I'll come back to you with some contracts. I had no contracts. I had nothing. <laughs> then I went out there and started pitching my ideas to people. Oh, I want to start shooting commercials. I shoot commercials. I make commercials for businesses like you. This, 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 this and that. And... I get one contract, I get two contracts, I get three. I start signing deals with camera equipment that I don't have. But he has them, right? And I'm going to pay him. I'm going to get the contract, pay him, get the job done. Boom, I have a production advertising agency. So if I crippled myself with my belief like, oh, how can I start shooting commercials? When I don't have a camera, wow, the life is so hard. I don't have a camera. Oh, oh, I can't do all these great things because I don't have a camera and nobody supports me. My parents never had money, so I couldn't afford a camera. Oh, everything is not working. Oh. I would have crippled myself and I wouldn't have had all these great commercials that I've shot. By the way, you can check out some of my commercials on my website. I'd love to hear your feedback on it. Um, so you need to feel, experience positive emotions. I started thinking more positive started to realize like oh most of the things that I was thinking negatively were beliefs they weren't facts so when I start thinking positively 
my subconscious mind has no choice but to support it by giving me creative ideas to solve negative problems. Trust in your abilities. You need to trust in your abilities. Trust, even if you feel like how you, you think a lot of negative things, trust in the information I have given to you today about your mind. Your mind is so powerful. Your mind is so creative. Your mind is so creative. Your mind will come up with a way to solve the problem. Your mind will teach you something. Your mind will find a solution if you ask it to. But if you ask it, if you decide that, oh, it's not possible, your mind will also shut up. <laughs> okay, it's not possible. So we're not we're not going to suggest anything because they believe it's not possible. So I'm not going to tell. Your mind is not going to tell you anything because you decided it's not possible. But if you say, hmm. How, how can I do this? How can I solve this? I know I can solve this. Your mind will start working. Your mind will start inspiring you by looking. Everything you see, you start to see all these things and your mind will connect the dots. Don't you see? Connect the dots. Why do you think they say that? Because once you ask your mind to do something, it will connect the dots. It's not you. Your mind does that. It will connect the dots. Oh, I can find a production company that will do that, handle that part of the work. I handle the ideas and I handle finding clients that's it your mind will do the work and connect the dots act so after you connected the dots you now have to act because once you connect the dots you're still going to get scared you're still going to believe oh this is not nah, it's not going to work it's not going to work it, you're going to think that you're going to see your paradigm will still present itself and try to make you not do anything but you have to fight over it because you know it makes sense you know, when you thought about it and you connected the dots, you had this certain feeling like, wow, you had the feeling of enlightenment, like, wow, I actually connected the dots. So I know it's going to work. This this strategy makes sense. I know if I do this, it should, it should work. But your mind is going to try to scare you because you've been operating in this paradigm for a long time. So that brings us to the end of this presentation. I just want to, I just want to finalize with this and let you know that everything that I've taught you in this presentation is true and if you apply it to your life it is going to change your life and your reality for the better trust me have a wonderful day